Howdy. You'll enjoy this one. A review of a SWAN SW1248M, which signifies master art. The covers that come on it are these black painted things. I've swapped it out for another cover set, so this is from a 1248-3, which was the older trapezoidal style. But anyway, so these are the covers. And uh, what is this? Well, it's a great starter harp at about a hundred bucks. And I've always been looking for something that can help somebody get into chromatic harmonica. Not a lot of money if money is limited for whatever reason. And this is pretty cool. You know, this is a, a two-piece mouthpiece. You got the rounded mouthpiece on top and a slide, and that goes right onto this ABS plastic comb. You got a little bit thicker reed plates, about 1.2 millimeters, so they're a little thicker reed uh, plate, which I like is a little deeper tone, better tone. It does have wind savers, and uh, it's a pretty darn, pretty darn nice harp. And again, for something to get started, not bad. It's not a Seidel Saxony professional instrument, but it's not bad. So what do you say we listen to it a little bit and see what you think of the sound, okay? Okay, how about dry? I've done testing with this with people listening and they like the tone. It's a, it's a very nice instrument. So <clears throat> about a hundred bucks. It's, it's the newer generation of Swan with this two, uh, two piece mouthpiece. Now let's talk about how to take this instrument and make it better. Okay. If you go to the Facebook group, Chromatic Harmonica Customization, I'll explain a variety of customizations that make this a better heart, but I'm going to go over them right now for you. Okay, so, well, number one, you know, the covers of a harmonica act like the bell of a trumpet. So these are a little bit too close when it comes from factory, so I grind off with a Dremel tool, take the covers off and take those stanchions off. Then I take the edge of the back of the cover and pound it under a little bit and pull open the covers, and that turns this into more like a bell shape, which will project sound like a Honor CX-12 would. Okay, that was one customization. But I'll tell you what separates the men from the boys when it comes to harmonicas is how airtight are they. And this one is not great from factory, better than the older style four-piece mouthpieces that were trapezoidal. This rounded one being two-piece is more airtight, but you can make it even better. And any time, you know, part on top of part, that's where the leaks come, you know? So I sanded the comb, and I explained that on that Facebook group for you, sanding. And then, how do you get the rest of it tighter? Well, I actually lapped the slide into the mouthpiece using toothpaste, and then I kind of held the, the slide with a, another comb, you know, like that I had two-way two tape on, and I taped the slide to the comb and then put toothpaste on the uh, underside of that slide, and, and it dug its way. Yeah 
just a little bit into that chrome of that mouthpiece on the underside and that tightened that up a little bit, see? Then the next idea was to take, and one can, if you could take that mouthpiece down into the comb, you could tighten it up even more. So what did I do? Is I took that mouthpiece and I put toothpaste on the two sides and I gradually worked that mouthpiece that, that rounded mouthpiece down into that ABS plastic just a, a little bit like two ten thousandths of an inch just enough to tighten it up so pretty tight not as tight as a Seidel Saxony from factory which is a pro harp but pretty darn good for the hundred dollars then this button had a at an edge on it that hit my hand I didn't like it so I sanded that off and smoothed it in sprayed it with clear, uh, you know, paint, just so that it would be, you know, more comfortable to my hand. Now, this is a cross-tuned harp. See how those holes go back and forth? They do have a bigger air channel, but it requires more movement, usually 7.2 millimeters in and out to activate the slide, the movement necessary. Whereas on a short throw slide harp, it will only be five millimeters. So you do have to move it a greater distance. I also kind of sanded the edges of the reed plates, these 1.2 millimeter thicker reed plates, uh, so that it was comfy to the hand at all angles. That's important. And, uh, you know, so uh, these were just some, some improvements uh, that, that I thought uh, would make it better. It's interesting to note that the swans actually are, the combs are sanded at factory, not perfectly, but they are sanded. And, Owners and the, and the Suzuki's are not, so that's, I mean, for being an inexpensive harp, the bumpers are real big on this, you know, and they last forever. That's kind of nice. Um, the other thing I did, just as a tip, is if you smooth the hole cut in the slide here with a Dremel tool and nubby and compound and smooth that edge of the hole that goes over the mouthpiece screw, it doesn't cut into the bumper as you play them because the edges aren't sharp anymore. This acts like a knife when it's going up and down on that bumper and you, by smoothing them with a Dremel and goop and, and the little nubby, you can smooth that and it won't chop into the, um, the bumper anymore. So these are just kind of, you know, fun improvements that make the instrument better and better and better. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, when you first get into harmonica, you don't want to, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money or maybe you don't have a whole lot of money. But this Swan SW1248M is a nice instrument. And I'll tell you what, these Swan instruments are getting better and better. Just like trumpets made overseas in Asia and saxes and other instruments every year, better and better and better. This is a well-made instrument. It has uh, wind savers. So I'd say, it, and it will live, it will stand up to daily play, which, which wasn't true for some of the lower cost swans I tested. They, I was, I was changing the reed gap by playing them. Ooh, this one, it, it didn't. So good solid instrument. I think for the money, it's a, it's a great, it's, it's really, it's a great value. So anyhow, swan, SW1248M. When you look online, it's going to have this black painted cover. I pulled it because I could taste and smell. I'm very sensitive and I could smell that fresh paint and I didn't like that, so I went to these uh, chrome covers. I like the look of the black, but I like the, I like the, the way this one worked. Um, I like this instrument. I wouldn't really play it every day unless my other one wasn't available because it takes more breath. And I play too long every day to have an instrument that requires too much breath. But this is a very competitive instrument. I like it. I really do. Swan SW1248M. They make a 16-holer. They make a 12-holer. Swan's changing the game in the low end. You have a good day, and I hope that this information helps you or a friend get into the great world of chromatic harmonica, which is such a blast. It's an easy instrument to play at a beginner level, and it's kind of really hard to play well, so you got lots of years to study. Bye.